I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it A life worth living is a life with meaning I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating I'm feeding this demon Got a taste, can't erase bitterness in my face Work a job every day till your dreams fade away Like a god, never change, play the game that we say I need a break Hi YouTubers, thank you for joining me Here's an update what's going on there with the Mammoth Lakes Volcano. USGS is reporting 159 earthquakes uh, since it started on Monday. The largest, of course, was the 3.0. And that one was at 1539, um, a depth above sea level. Um, about 330 feet above sea level, all earthquakes are measured from sea level. And let's bring this out a little bit so you can see where all the earthquakes are going on. Now it's up to 164, but it includes, looks like three earthquakes down by Twin Creek. And one more up here by Antelope Springs. But we're just going to concentrate on these here. I marked out the most recent earthquakes in green um, for the last 24 hours. And then I added a couple since I did my report on Monday of the larger ones, which were like 2.1, 2.4, uh, 2.6. The one in the center, the red, was the initial 3.0 earthquake. The most recent earthquake that they are reporting is a magnitude 1.4, but it was larger. And going two miles, it was uh, 0.3 miles above sea level. Anytime you see a minus sign, that means it was above sea level. Here you can see they started out fairly deep. 4.3 miles below sea level, 4.1, 3.3. And then they started getting shallower. 1.4 or minus, minus, see that? Uh, 1.5 or minus 1.5. Yeah, that, that probably would be one of the shallowest. And again, they're all up in this one location, which would be right in here, uh, right next to the highway. Which would be what road? Let's see. Let's turn it on. Um, Interstate 395. And over here on the right is the Resurgent Dome. So here's the most recent earthquake. It's actually a magnitude 1.64. Let me close this so you can see the files that I pulled. And I'll, I'll pull this over. Yeah, we got a series of them right here. And I noticed that we've been having drum beats. See that? Boom, 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 which means uh, magma. Let me make that bigger. It's coming up through a conduit. See that? And it hits a blockage until the magma melts. And then it flows some more. See that? We got drum beats. Not real fast, but... Yeah, they are happening. Look at that. Oh, about one every five seconds. What you got to watch for is when they get so close together and so loud, it actually goes silent. Another example of one they fudged on at 1129. That comes in as a magnitude 1.89. That's just one there. This one at 811, they're not even reporting. There it is right there. That comes in as a 1.92. This one at 240, and you can see I really shortened the seismic signature beyond what it should have been. And I'll bring it down because it actually comes in larger than a 1.5. It's a 1.5. 9 1 so it's probably about a 2 but like I said I shortened up the seismic signature let me go back to that and show you see it continue I would probably actually do it there and then would be a, a 2.05 
here at 1555 yeah you can see the hot magma that was coming in there was a whole series of earthquakes they didn't report not a single one of them uh, more than likely let's take a look yeah it was drum beats let me make this bigger yeah and let's pull this see these are volcanic tremors so why are they doing this i found a real interesting article an op-ed about the volcano at mammoth lakes and the 1982 earthquake swarm and all uh yeah it was horrible what the geologists went through this was posted on the 28th of this year it says in the run-up to memorial day weekend in 1982 Mammoth residents woke up to a Los Angeles Time headline that said Mammoth Area Tremors Hit at Volcanism and the report rocked the region but it was not the way residents were warned to expect. They were planning on putting the residents in that area on notice or watch alert because of the earthquake swarm that was going on. Well currently it's still at green. And this might be why they're not raising the alert level. The residents of Mammoth were outraged. And the USGS scientists even found threatening messages in their cars. Evidently, tourism plummeted by about 50%. So you know it devastated the economy. More than 2,000 people were said to have moved out over the next two years. The politicians, the uh, residents who owned hotels and residents, posted signs saying geologists not welcome. Well, it never erupted them, thank God. But the economic fallout was tremendous on the town. Yeah, a lot of people were disappointed that it didn't erupt. John Ord, a scientist who headed the Cascadia Volcano Observatory, once told the reporter the education campaign Hill dedicated himself to at the Long Valley changed the way scientists were viewed. The agency added transparency, including a regular update webpage where anyone could check activity alert status. They cited the reason because of a 2009 6.3 earthquake that happened in Italy. Uh, six scientists and a government official were charged with manslaughter. Prosecutors maintained the scientists had failed to adequately, adequately warn the public of the wake of the small tremors that preceded the earthquake. Yeah, and they spent six years in prison. David P. Hill, then the scientist in charge of USGS monitoring in the Mammoth Reason, was viewed as the enemy. A real estate agent told me I should watch what I am saying because somebody would put a bomb in my car you know maybe a lot of people moved to the area not really realizing that the uh, long Valley, valley area is actually a, a, a collapsed volcano and where the current earthquake swarm is where the resurgent dome is happening and those are the ones that moved out in the past so they might be posting a majority of the earthquakes that's currently happening but not all of them yeah pressure from politicians business owners uh maybe they have a little bit to do with uh why usgs is not so open about the earthquakes of late we do know that when obama was in office he put a gag order what was going on in yellowstone there is currently about eight thousand people that live there and yeah who knows what the the income is and they're still probably recovering from covid and now they're being slammed with high gas prices hampering tourism there has been people in the past who have died from the gases coming up from uh, this caldera and over here on the right we have uh, hilton creek fault there's a uh, lots of um hot pools that people go to there you know this whole situation reminds me of dante's peak you know where people didn't want to hear about it you know that uh, the area they lived in could erupt and you know cause the death of so many people here's an image of one of those hot poles here on the usgs website it says the beautiful blue poles 
and impressive boiling fountains along Hot Creek have provided enjoyment to generations of visitors, but they have also been the cause of injury or death to someone who may have disregarded the warnings and fences. The springs and geysers in the spring bed and along its bank change location, temperature, and flow rates frequently and unpredictably they change. Mammoth Creek, which flows through the town of Mammoth Lakes, changes its name to Hot Creek and Hot Creek Gorge, where it intersects a series of faults that provide paths to the surface for heated geothermal water flowing in the aquifer several hundred feet beneath the surface. Here we have an image of the borehole tilt meter. They have the 19th marked in red. Um, looks like just before the 19th it rose up and then it was going down. Um, this has not really been updated, I don't think. This here is about the caldera itself. Uh, most of the 400 meter, 1,300 feet of uplift caused by westward, westward pressure related to the intrusion of rhyolite cells, one of the most explosive types of magma that you can possibly have because it has the most gases. And it mentions Bishop Tuff. Rhyolite magma tends to erupt explosively, commonly also producing abundant ash and pumice. So many of you are probably wondering where the Bishop Tuff is. And we'll zoom on out or zoom on in, whatever Google Earth does. And this is the uh, Bishop Tuff, Tuff Scenic Route, it says. Right there. I mean, you can see the size of the caldera where it blew everything out. You know, the rim. And, yeah. Um, people often wonder why do people live in a volcano? Um, knowing that it's active and then they get all mad when you're warned that something could happen and it doesn't. You know, they, they feel like you're yelling, the sky is falling, the sky is falling. And then you see like in Italy where, uh, the scientists and one politician, uh, went to jail for six years for not sounding the warning. I'd much rather have a warning and then make a decision if I want to do something, then not receive any warning at all. You know, people get mad that they lose business and nothing happens. Maybe they figured that insurance companies would cover the loss, but they want to collect all those pennies until it does happen. Not thinking about the lives of the innocent people who could be instantly vaporized. How many left town during that period of uh, the earthquake swarm and left their employees and whoever to man, man the stores and restaurants? How many actually stayed there during that earthquake swarm? Yeah, I'm not a child. Um, yeah, give me the information. Let me make the decisions on my own. But don't leave me in the dark like a little mushroom. You know, being fed a bunch of BS and yeah, we're on our own. So what are your thoughts? Please put those comments down below. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate your support. If you do wish to support my work, I'm also on Patreon. Thank you very much for those that do support my work. God bless you guys, everyone. You know, be like the Boy Scouts. Have a plan. Be prepared. And thank you for watching. And I'll talk to you later. God bless y'all.